When it comes to the gun I keep next to my bed for home defense, there are a few things I'm looking for. Of course, reliability, then there's shootability, capacity, accessory modularity, and yes, nightstand appeal, which is a fancy way of saying, looks good on my nightstand. Yeah, I know, I'm tactically vain, sue me. The HK45 Tactical has been my bedside gun for some time. In and of itself, I love the gun, but for the past few months, I've been contemplating moving to a 9mm for home defense, mainly for capacity, but I'll address why in detail in another video. That said, here are the top 5 9mm handguns I'm considering for my bedside home defense gun. The Staccato P The Staccato P is one of those guns you can't stop shooting once you start. Because of this, I've racked up a pretty high round count on this gun with little to no problems in terms of reliability. I think there was maybe one malfunction I've had, so I'm pretty confident in this gun's reliability. There are a few handguns that give me the shooting confidence that the Staccato P does. Its trigger is phenomenal. It shoots as flat as an ironing board, and because it's a 2011, it has ergonomics oozing from its pores. If you told me I had to do my absolute best shooting performance, I'd more than likely use a Staccato P. It's a walking cheat code. It's just so damn easy to shoot. Throw a 20 round magazine in it and it satisfies my inner capacity whore. And I actually like the safeties. Yes, I just said I like the safeties. I know it's cool in the gun industry to hate on manual safeties, but they don't bother me and to some degree I like knowing that my gun can't be fired unless the manual safety is off and the grip safety is depressed. The comp isn't exactly ideal, but I can easily take it off and add a threaded barrel if I wanted to. Combine that with a light and a red dot, though marketed as a duty gun with competition shooting aspirations, it unexpectedly makes for an extremely good bedside home defense gun. The Zeb OZ-9C I think the Zeb OZ-9C is one of the best looking polymer handguns on the market. It's simply stunning. Yes, like I said before, the way a gun looks plays a factor in what gun I protect my home with. It's a very, very, very small factor, but it is a factor nonetheless. That said, what really turns me on about this gun is that it's essentially a sexier, higher quality feeling version of a Glock 19X. And if you know me, you know I love the Glock 19X. Wow, I love this gun! This is by far my favorite Glock ever created. Hands down, no questions asked. I am obsessed with the 19X. You wanna know why? Because it fails and it shoots awesome. However, unlike the 19X, the OZ9C has a cutout for a red dot, flared magazine well, and even slightly better ergonomics. Throw in my CN logo adorned 20 round Terran Tactical Magazine base plate magazine, and if you wanna suppress it, you can get a threaded barrel for it. I have all the tactical accoutrements I could ever want in this gun. As good as this gun looks, it shoots better. I've been very vocal about my love affair with the longer grip, shorter slide configuration on guns. And that's exactly how I have my OZ9C configured. I don't know what it is, but I just shoot this type of configuration very well. And the OZ9C is no exception. And it's been reliable enough that I have no apprehension whatsoever in using it as my bedside home defense gun. The Walther PDP. On the surface, the PDP is a very modest looking gun, but don't be fooled, this gun is a beast. You wouldn't guess it, but I can shoot the PDP faster than most guns, and the ergonomics on the gun are incredible. Then there's the trigger, which is one of the best stock triggers on a polymer gun that I've ever felt. Notwithstanding its anemic sights, the PDP has all the features I'd want as well. I can drop a threaded barrel in if I decide to suppress it, and it has a cutout for a red dot. It may not be as fancy as other guns on this list, but it's a workhorse that has a special place in my heart because it shoots so much better than it appearance suggests. But I'm not saying it's an unattractive gun. I'm saying it's an unassuming gun. Visually, it gets overshadowed by the other guns on this list, but when it comes time to do work on the actual shooting aspect of things, I know the PDP is not only going to hold its own, but probably outclass the other guns in a lot of ways. 
I also love the fact that it has an 18 round flush magazine. Sure, I can go and get an extended magazine for it and get even more rounds, but I think it says a lot when it just comes ready to go self-contained, no extra pieces sticking out the bottom with 18 rounds. The 6 Hour P320 X5. The 6 Hour X5 is a boat anchor of a gun, and that's exactly why I'm considering it for my nightstand home defense gun. It's the excessive weight that makes it an easy gun to shoot. This gun just handles a 9mm round so well. Much like the Staccato, this gun is a laser beam in my hands. The first time I ever shot this gun was during a red dot vehicle training course, and as a result, I became intimately familiar with this gun in dynamic shooting situations very quickly. So I have a lot of confidence with this gun and not only its shootability, but its reliability. As big as it is, it still manages to have tier one ergonomics. Then there's the 21 round magazine, that delicious magazine well, and visually, it's actually a really unique looking gun. Depending how you look at it, it gives you a little bit of a 1911, a little bit of a classic double action single when it's actually a striker fire. It's a visual hodgepodge of looks, but I like it. However, suppression may be a problem with this gun because of how long the slide is. Adding a suppressor, that is if I can find a threaded barrel for it, would make it really long, taking up a lot of nightstand real estate. So if I were to go with this gun, I likely wouldn't suppress it. The FN509 Tactical The FN509 Tactical is the most complete gun on this list on paper. It has freaking everything. Threaded barrel, cut out for red dot, full rail for your light, suppressor height night sights in case your red dot stops working, and 24 round magazines. Yes, 24 round magazines. The only thing the FN509 Tactical doesn't have is a manual safety, which, like I said before, isn't a requirement, but does give me a little bit of superficial comfort. There is nothing you need to do to this gun. It comes out of the box ready to be a bedside home defense gun. Ironically, the FN509 Tactical has been living as my bag gun for some time, but more and more, I feel like I'm doing it a disservice because of how perfect it actually is for a home defense nightstand gun, as it pretty much does everything really well. Oh, did I mention that it has 24 round magazines? If you haven't realized it yet, this list was in no particular order. I'm still trying to decide which gun I'll end up going with, and when I make that decision, I'll make a video about it. But let's be real, I'm splitting hairs here because all of these guns are damn near overqualified to be bedside home defense guns, so I don't think anyone can go wrong with any of the guns on this list. Now, I know these guns aren't exactly cheap, but this list doesn't factor in price. I'll do a video on more affordable top five bedside home defense guns in the near future. But until then, these are my top five bedside home defense handguns in 9mm. That said, the gun is just a starting point when it comes to self-defense. But what's equally important is training to use that gun, understanding the laws in your state regarding self-defense, and being prepared for any legal issues that may come up if you have to go to court and defend your decision to defend yourself. That's why I'm a USCCA member. Being a USCCA member is an easy way to do all of those things. If you have to use your gun in self-defense, you could find yourself in a very expensive legal case to prove that it was justified. The beautiful thing about a USCCA membership is that you don't just get self-defense insurance, you also get access to their treasure trove of education and their training program. So if you're interested in learning more about USCCA, there's a link in the description section of this video. You know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. 
As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. I'm sure the YouTube algorithm is gonna do a phenomenal job of suppressing this message. So please share this video with as many people as you can so we can beat the algorithm and get our two-way message out to the masses. Also, don't forget to like this video and leave a comment and hit the bell and subscribe button.